Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So this is how far we got with our form. So in this part, we're going to do the JavaScript part so we can actually handle the cart information right here. Right now, there's another thing that I want to show you. If you want to follow along, um, Laravel Kesha, under payment methods, you can basically, you see the input field for the card elements uh, right there. That's the, basically to display the card information, all right? And the other one is the card holder name. So these, this card, card holder name, that field will basically be the ID field. Let's just copy it right there. So I'll leave a link in the description so that you can be able to go here, okay? So this JavaScript library, maybe it, for the Stripe element form. So this part right here, we couldn't have deal with all of this, but just follow along. Right, I see they're using a sync await. I'm gonna use promises to do the same thing, okay? But you can follow along. So if you want to copy all of this stuff and paste and yeah. So I'm not pulling it out of uh, my head. All right, so if you guys just want to go and check where I'm actually getting the information from, it's basically under Laravel Cashier, under Payments. So I will just type them out, but you can follow along as I type, or you can just come in and copy and paste them in. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to be able to allow uh, the scripts to be underneath that uh, form. So I will just add another field in here called add stack. All right and methods stack okay and i'm just going to call this one scripts uh, scripts like this okay so okay so let's go to the view so resources that will be under stripe actually stripe index this one right here okay so this is the view so the name field right here this is going to be the card holder id so just going to do card holder id or name, sorry, that's just going to be the name. This ID field with a card holder name. So let's just go back. All right, so it's the card holder name. Just make sure that input field for the name have the ID or the card holder name. The next thing, as you can see, the diff with the card holder elements, that one right there. All right, so if we go down, you will see that card holder elements. Let me just paste it in here. Okay, no. card holder element. Let's put an S in there. Nope, they put in just without the S. I just want to be consistent with the documentation. So if you guys want to follow there, but I'm going mostly um, trying to do something that I understand. Right, so this is basically the card. So I'm not going to put the card uh, number there. I'm just going to put a card info information like this in for name. All right, so that's basically the card information. So as you can see the payment, so this is the card element. All right, now the next thing that we want to do is we want to add push, okay? Now this is basically to push to the scripts right here. Okay, so let's just do that, uh, scripts. Right, so then we're going to add the first one that we're going to add is obviously the library for Stripe. Okay, so let's come here. So we, as you can see, we already got the data intent secret right there. So that's all good. So let's copy this part. I just want you to follow along so that you can, yeah. All right, and then we come and paste it in here. So as you can see, we bring in that Stripe library right there. The next thing I'm just going to have a script tag. Okay, so like this. So in here, we're going to do all of our JavaScript. Okay. So the first one is we're going to get the stripe. So constant uh, stripe. We're going to equal that to basic stripe. And then we just want to basically get the environment file. Okay. And then we just want to get the stripe key. Key that one right there. Okay, so obviously, we just close this off. Right, so the next thing uh, we need to get the card element. Okay, so constant, and this is going to be elements. 
I'm going to type it out instead of just copy and paste it so that I can explain what things are. So there's some people that don't understand JavaScript. Okay, so just bear with me. Okay, elements, and we're going to equal that to basically stripe dot elements. Okay, so basically this will create an instance of the stripe element. Okay, the next one. Uh, this one is going to be the cart elements. Okay, we're going to set that to to create basically uh, elements. Okay, so elements dot. So basically, I'm calling on this method right now, and here this stripe right here, I'm calling on that right there. Okay, so elements. Okay, dot create. Okay, so what we're going to create? We're going to create a cart. Okay. So this will basically create an instance of the card element. Okay. The next thing is we need to get basically the card holder name. So card holder name. Okay. We're going to equal that to document. Not get element of our ID. ID. All right. So we're going to get that basically card. Holder name. Okay. If we, I just copy and paste, um, most of this stuff will just go over people's heads. So I just want to kind of, if you want to just copy and paste and skip the video, you can do that. All right. So we're going to get basically the card holder name, this one right here. So as you can see, the name right there, we're getting the ID right here. Okay. So we're getting this name. So that's basically the card holder name. The next thing that we want to get is basically the card button. So card button. We can equal that to document. Document dot get element by ID. Okay. So this one we want to basically get the pay now button this button right here this one okay so we're getting that button okay so get that button right here so card uh, button all right the next one uh, we're going to get the client secret so client secret okay now we're going to go to that card button we've got button this one right here, let me just copy that, paste it in here. Okay. So the card button dot data set dot secret. Okay. So card button. Okay. So the card button, this one, data secret, and then obviously the content right there. Okay. All right. So the next thing that we want to get um, is we want to basically mount our card element. Okay, so let you do this, the card element, this one right here. Mm, let's just do element button, just like this. Copy that, let me just paste it in here. And now what we want to do is we want to mount, okay, on the ID of card dash element. Okay. So what this will do is we'll basically add the instance of the card of the element into basically our card. Where is it? This one right here. Okay. So let's see if it if we get any error so far. Right. So you're supposed to see this right now. You see card information. You will see the card number and you will see your MVC fields right here. Okay. So we're obviously going to I'm going to make this the same as that. So let's quickly do that. So I'm just going to add a page of white uh, border. I think I'm going to make the padding a little bit better. Padding three, a border gray 300 and around it. Right, it's just so that people feel like they're still on the same place. Okay, so it's, there's some sense of consistency. Right, so we got our card information, we've got our card number and all that kind of stuff. All right, so let's uh, work let's work further with our form. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to add an event listener basically onto this card element. Okay. 
let me just add it. So cart element, okay, dot add event listener for someone that is already understand JavaScript. Well, this will make a little bit more sense. Okay, so cart element dot add event listener. So what event we want to listen for? We want to listen for a change event. All right. So if something happens, we're just going to create a function. We can, you can add the E or you can add the event like this. Okay, so I'm just going to write out the event. So just to make sense for people that might not use JavaScript. All right. So then I'm just going to display an error. So display any errors. Okay. So I'm not going to equal that to document dot get element. Uh, by D. Right, so I just want to get basically the card errors, the one that I created for errors, this ID right here. So I'm just going to copy that. So if there's any errors, we want to display them here. Okay, so let's just post, paste it in there. Okay, so that is basically for error. If, okay, so we're just going to write an if standard, if the event dot errors. Okay. Uh, then we want to display error, okay, dot text content. We're going to set that to the event dot error dot message. All right, else display nothing. So let's do that. Display context. We just copy that, paste it in here. We're going to set that to basically be an empty string. All right. The next thing that we want to do, let me just copy that up. Next thing we want to add here is basically handle our form submission. So let's just add it in here. Handle, okay, let me just handle uh, form uh, submission. Okay, so let's just do a constant uh, payment form. Okay, we're going to set that to basically document get. You can do a query selector or anything like that. For me, element by ID works very nice. Get element by ID. Right, so what we want to do is we want to get that payment, payment dash form. And so let's quickly show you where that is. When we created our form, you'll see we got an ID of payment form right here. So I'm just going to copy that, and go down and paste it in there just to make sure it's the same thing. Okay, so that's our payment form. All right, now on our payment form, the one that we just got there, let me just copy it so you guys can see it's the same thing. All right, on our payment form, but we're going to add an event listener. And we're going to listen for the submit event. Okay, let me just go to function event. All right. All right. Now we're going to just prevent the default. Okay, so the before behavior, so meaning we just don't want it to submit when that button is pressed. Okay, so prevent default. See, we're running a little bit out of time. Um, what I will do is let me just quickly type this out and I will see you after this. All right, so what I've done is basically a promise. So in this case, for the stripe, okay this one right there we basically handle the card setup the client secret card element okay the cloud secret let me show you where that is the card secret right there card element that one right there okay and then payment details the billing details right now is the name the card holder name this one right here that one right there and the value right there okay so that's the payment method data and then we basically say when that then is the result if there's an error basically uh, element error document will get element that one right there and then we just put it right there 
Okay. And then basically what we're doing is if there's any error, display them right there. And basically the payment method input, the one right here, the input hidden input field, where it is, where is it? This one right here, the value right there. So if everything goes well, we basically create basically get that element and the payment method dot value we add basically the setup intent payment method and then we basically submit that payment form okay this one right here okay then we submit it All right so if you guys pause the video if you want to copy this okay could have done the same thing if we just look at basically um the one that we get from Laravel Cashew Stripe, right? You can just copy it right there and you can just fill in the details from there. Right, so we got our form right here. Okay, so right, so what I want to do in the next one is I want to actually test it with cards. So we want to fill in the card information and actually handle the processing of the form and so that we can actually charge the customer and create a subscription in the database. So as you can see, if I do things this way, it takes a little bit longer, but I'd rather put in, in the information in there. Otherwise, people will say I do things behind and I don't necessarily show you what I did in the background. Okay, so I'd rather do it like this. A little bit more videos, but if you don't want to watch it, you can just skip it. Okay. But I appreciate everyone watching. I just want to say that. And if you like the video, guys, please give it a like. And I'll see you in the next one where we're going to use test cards from Stripe put, to put in here, charge the customer, create a subscription. And yes, thank you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Adios.